Welcome to another Ernie's Journeys, where we answer the question, where will the journey take us? Today, the journey takes us here. We are at the Hiawassee Dam on one of the tributaries of the Tennessee River. Uh, now, we are currently in the state of North Carolina, and as you can see, let's take a look at the dam. We're on the Hiawassee Lake side of the dam. So what you see here is Hiawassee Lake. The dam is just this way. We stepped around the other side of the rest area over here so you can take a look. What you see here right in front of you is Fowler Bend Peninsula. You can see the lake here. The dam itself was completed in 1940. It's all part of the TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority project that took place in the 1940s. I really like this map of the TVA system uh, of dams because you can kind of see all of these spots here. These are all dams on the tributaries of the Tennessee River, all the way up here going up into Virginia. All of these feed water into the Tennessee River, which starts to form around Knoxville. It comes down goes down into Alabama and it continues through this set of dams and then goes back north through Tennessee until it flows into the Ohio River. As far as capacity goes, this whole system of river, it provides the equivalent of what the Missouri River inputs into the Mississippi River as far as uh, amount of water, uh, cubic feet of water a year. So, and we are right here. That's where we are. Now, the other day when we did the video in the town of Norris, we were at the Appalachian Museum of Natural History. We were up here. So, we're on this tributary right now. You can see the water is a little bit low right now. It usually goes, you can go even higher. You see where the brown meets the white there. And over there is the town or community of Bear Paw. They have a water tower right over there is one of the landmarks. The dam is 307 feet high and approximately close to between 1300 and 1400 feet long. The length of the reservoir itself is 22 miles and it stores as far as flood storage goes, about 437 million cubic yards of water. This is one of the hydraulic turbines. I, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but it says 43 ton here. But this guy is what's down at the base of this dam. It's one of the turbines that fuels all the energy. It's called a Francis type. 80,000 horsepower is the output built uh, in Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock in Newport News, Virginia. Look at this thing. I mean, here's me in comparison. I can barely, barely reach the top of it. It's huge. As you can see, there's this great little picnic area. You have picnic areas on both sides of the dam. So if you want to come and spend an afternoon up here, grab a bite to eat somewhere, in town, come and sit down one of these spots. The other picnic area is just on the other side, over to the left over there on the lake side of the dam. All right, guys, that's the lake side. And over here, it's the river side. Look at that. doesn't seem very small but when you look at that car down there in comparison it's pretty big you can see a person down there working on the dam I don't know about you guys but I want to get a closer look let's keep going 
the view is spectacular. There are times though when I'm getting close and I start looking over the edge and I get a little bit dizzy, uh, just uh, from the just from the view. <laughs> Very cool. Well, we're almost to the uh, to the halfway point. And this is this is a crane, isn't it? You can see the tracks where it moves back and forth on the bridge. I wonder would love to see that being in use, you know? That'd be really neat. Just climb up there and work the machinery. Look at the size of the, of the crane itself. Ooh, what a view. Imagine being the person that has to climb down this ladder. That's making me dizzy right now. Look how tiny all those people are. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. stairwell circular stairwell that goes down but that's restricted authorized personnel only I ain't doing that it's quiet over on this side this is the lake side Well, we've seen the top of the dam. Let's go down and check out the bottom. Down here at the base of the dam, there's a couple of benches where you can come and sit and enjoy lunch on the river. The view over there looks pretty interesting. So the gate just opened, apparently to let somebody in. And that sound you're hearing is the sound of the gate getting ready to close, there it goes. Very cool. This is where we're at right now. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so all of a sudden you come up on this giant sign. Dangerous waters, violent surges occur suddenly. Keep out. 
I just was walking over here. There's a bench right over here. There's a heck of a view over here. That's for sure. Look at that. We were just up there just a little bit ago. And I wonder what it's like when they open the dam up and they release all that water. It's got to be like so loud, you know? So just down the road from where we were by the dam, you can come over here and launch a boat. It's a public boat launch. Here's a little bit of information from the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. There's brown trout in these waters. They're known to grow as much as 20 inches long. Walk out. The boat launch. Out onto the water. Look at that. What a beautiful view. So rivers like the Hiawassee here are great for fishing. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, if you get a chance to come down and check out the Hiawassee River and the Hiawassee Dam, it's definitely worth checking out. It's very peaceful here, a great place to launch your boat and go fishing on the river. Maybe catch a few brown trout. Thanks for watching.